I have some carrots. So let's do something that uh, we haven't. So let's look at some deer that we haven't looked at in several days. A couple of bucks we haven't looked at in several days. And that's my two one-year-old deer that are in the pen. Uh, we actually turned these deer loose last fall, and then we had a coyote and a bobcat kill a deer, baby deer too. So we brought them back in. We've kept them in here. It's a good thing we did because these might end up being our breeder bucks. Now I'm going to check with Dale Hagelin up in uh, in uh, Iowa, who's the best big deer breeder in the entire nation. I'm going to check with Dale and see about if I need to let these one-year-old breed. They'll be a year and a half old when they get this fall. Or if I need to, to use a different breeder buck on them. But these guys are both good. Their daddy's little is big whitey. Big whitey's their daddy. So you know they got great genetics. Absolutely incredible big deer genetics. And they're looking pretty good for their very first horns. Let's go in and take a look. Oh, here they're walking up to me right now. Let's look at them and then walk in. Hi there, buddy. Hi there. Hi there. How you doing? You pretty thing. I got some carrots. Yes, I do. I have some carrots. Yeah. How you doing, pal? Hi, come on over here. Come on over here. That's my boy. Yeah, that's my boy. Look at that little baby deer over there. Isn't that pretty? That little baby. Where's that baby? Look at her. <laughs> There's going another little baby over there. We don't have many babies left. We just had a terrible deal with the babies. Another big boy's coming over here to look at me. Yeah. Well, let's open this gate and open some carrots and see if we can entice these guys up. Some close look. Okay, I'm in here. I've got my beautiful Chris in the mule there with me. And I'm in here. We haven't given these two deer a name. We need to name these guys. Uh, this guy right here looks like he's going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know, about eight or nine points. I got a brand new bag of carrots. Oh, and he's going to eat right out of my hand. Eat right out of my hand. So we're going to get a really good look at him right here. Oh, he's right up here. Oh, my goodness. This is so special when they will do this. It's a deer that's really not had a tremendous amount of human contact, although I've been coming here with him quite a little bit. We can take a good look. He's just got a lot of stuff going up at top. He's got two kickers coming off on the backside. And he's just absolutely, absolutely incredible. He's gonna have three or four on this side. That is, uh, they're looking on the left, the side that's closest to the camera right there. He's gonna have three or four of them up there. You can see he doesn't really want to be petted. But he does not have any problem at all eating out of my hands. And he's just right here by the camera. I don't have it zoomed in or anything. That's just one power right there. I'll try to get his buddy over here looking too. His buddy, I would think, could come on over here. His buddy's actually a little bit bigger than he is. And we'll get him over here and try to take a good look at him also if we can. I kind of thought with this guy doing all this munching and crunching that uh, the other deer would come over here. Yeah, we got to give these two guys... A name. I might call this one Knight, as in White Knight. We kind of need something on the Whitey stage, I think, with him. So, uh, he is a carrot monster, isn't he? We might name you Tree, like Forest. But you're not in relationship to Forest, no. No, you're not in relationship to Forest. This deer is one, one year old, one year and a couple months now is all. One year and about a month, probably. Look at him, scarf those carrots up. <laughs> He's a pretty boy. Got kind of weird horns there. What, what I probably will do, whoop, something scared him. Come here, baby. Come here. Something made some noise and scared him. That's just their natural deal is to run. Come here, baby. Come here. Come on back. Carrot's here. Come on back. Come on back. Something he caught out of the corner of his eye moving over there or something. That scared him and he's locked in on it. I mean, really locked in on it. I hear, I hear something over there in the woods. I hear a noise and whatever it was, scared him it was something that was a, a scary noise for a deer but of course they can't get to him here in this pen so he's really safe right here we looked at him for a little bit <laughs> turn you around there a little bit more where we can see you a little bit better big boy that's just about as good a look as you can get at a set of deer horns right there that's like looking at forest isn't it now forest is three years old a lower three well, this deer is only one, but you can see that when he's three years old, he's going to be impressive also. The trick is getting him to three years old. Oh, he acts like he wants to play. That's what he acts like. He wants to play. Yeah, he acts like he's kind of going back in a playing position there, bouncing back like that. I don't really know what caused all that, 
But the other one has got a little bit larger antlers, and we're going to go over and take a look at him. We'll have to walk over and see if we can get him up. I thought maybe he would come on over here, but so far he hasn't done that. I'll pull some stuff out there and maybe get him to come. Here, 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 you can get out of my hand. You don't have to go eat off the ground. Huh. Okay, I'll eat them. The other deer, there he comes, right there. Let's see if we can coax him in a little closer. He is uh, coming this way. Well, that's a close up right there. Don't you, don't you eat that cord. Do not eat that cord, no. Do not get that cord, no. No. <laughs> He's wanting to play a little bit too. He went back there and found those carrots back there. Gonna get that other deer up here a little bit closer. I'm gonna throw something out there because the other deer was really impressive. Got a little bit closer to him. He was not wanting me to get real close to him. Get him a little closer here if I can. He's being tempted in by the carrots. Okay. There he comes. Now we might not get as good a look at him there. And we got one of them's in the way. I don't want to move around too much on him because he's a little bit more a little bit more spooky. Turn the camera angle down, down a little bit. Come here, baby, it's okay. Come on. Come on, baby, it's okay. It's okay. We're gonna try to zoom in on him because he is really, really gonna be special. He's got a lot, a lot up on his head also. You can see how big they are and how long they are. Quite a bit better rack. And that's the deer you'd want for a, a better breed buck than probably this guy right here is. But you take a look at him. I don't know what he is there. He looks like about 10 point. Probably just about a perfect 10. It looks like they're gonna end up being five and five on each side. Having to move around a lot on him to, to stay on him. He's eating carrots there. Both of them are, there's something out there in the woods moving around that they don't really like. I'm trying to get as good a look at them as we possibly can. You can see what he looks like there. Looks like two, four, and five, and then two, four, and five. And they're kind of wanting to play too. It was over 100 degrees today. I think it got to 103 today. That's a pretty impressive buck right there, boys and girls. He's big and fat, got a lot of body weight, and it's just a pretty impressive buck for a one-year-old deer. So we would probably, if we can keep them both alive, probably put him with the majority of the does, let him breed most of them. Let this guy here breed a few. You don't want to put all your eggs in one basket, and he's pretty impressive too. Uh, he's going to be on up there. He's just got some things going on kind of funny there, but... Well, there's no telling what that might end up being the second and third year. You can see the other buck there is just absolutely gorgeous as well. He's looking for carrots. He's not going to find a few. Entice him up here a little bit closer. He's actually coming up pretty close to me now. You can see just how big he is. My, 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 my. That is spectacular. That is spectacular. All right, guys and girls, that's a look at the one-year-old bucks. And they're just really, really good. And that one is really something. Might name him White Knight. Y'all let me know what you think about that. White Knight. Big, beautiful deer. <laughs> Big, beautiful, gorgeous deer. Yeah, baby. White Knight. That's not bad. Got white in it for Whitey. My expressway ram truck is kind of in the way, but that is always a beautiful shot when we can get bucks lying in the prayer circle. And there they are right there. That's uh, Mr. Forrest and Lucky 13. And that other big buck with the big giant horns. That's only his second set of horns that uh, we don't have really have a name for that guy. I guess we got to give him a name of some sort. That's Lucky 13 off to the left. You can see Forces Chartreuse ribbon. She's kind of shining a little bit. Uh, that's just 
really, really big. And then that's that other big buck there that just, <coughs> I don't know. It might be TC land down there. That's Fat Boy, walked in there. There's another deer too over around the feeder. And he's going to lay down. There we go. There's a shot right there. There is a shot right there. Four of them. Four of them laying down. And a crow in the middle. <laughs> Four of those big boys laying there. That's pretty right there. Something about big deer laying down, knowing that they're calm. They feel safe, not worried about anything. They're just enjoying life. And there they are, all four of them in the prayer circle. And I don't know if it's 100% true. I believe they're praying for Chris. Yes, sir. I know Forrest is. Forrest wants Chris to come and feed him a big old bag of carrots. That is really special right there. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> if we kind of zoom over just a little bit past the truck, we see that we've got a couple more big bucks right there. That's TC over there. So they're over there at the feeder. There's the Texas Hunter feeder right there. There's a hummingbird. The hummingbird sitting on the hummingbird feeder. Oh, it's a little bonus anytime you see a hummingbird. Such tiny little birds. We all love them so very much. That guy is hungry. <laughs> That's pretty special. Well, he's drinking away, isn't he? He has no competition this morning, I guess. Nobody just scaring him away and fighting for the... Look at that little guy there. <laughs> oh, me. Life is good. Life is good, good, good. This morning on the Eagle. One deer laid down went to sleep, I believe. I think he did. <laughs> Must have had a long night. I have just got to take one more quick look <clears throat> at the peace and tranquility on the Eagle this morning. When you look out there and you see that, two of those deer are absolutely sound asleep. Absolutely sound asleep. And I believe there's six of them laying there. Might just be five, but I think that is six. Two of them sound asleep. Sound asleep. One of the things that you will notice with deer you're out in the woods and you see any deer laying down around you, which is kind of an unusual thing. You need to hunt quite a bit to be able to see that. But one of the things that you'll see is that very seldom are all the deer sleeping. You know, we think about our military here that are on duty all around the world, trying to help keep America safe and secure, and they have been all of our lives. It's kind of like the deer. While a lot of us are asleep, a lot of us are awake, making sure that America is protected worldwide. And even right here in this country, we have policemen on duty all the time, people working in the middle of the night when most people are sleeping. And the deer, while a couple of them are sound asleep out there, the others are on the alert, looking around, making sure any danger comes around, it warns the rest. But that is absolutely fantastic. Peace and tranquility. They don't have a worry in the world. 
I don't think any of them are Democrats. I don't think any of them are Republicans. I don't think any of them claim to be independents. They just claim to be created by God and enjoying life here early in the morning. Pretty special. This is definitely vegetable feeding time right here. We got this strange, I don't even know what this is. Maybe some of y'all can tell me what that is. It's kind of a, a cantaloupe, but it's kind of like a, almost a, a watermelon as well. It, not real sweet, it tastes good, but Forrest loves it. Forrest is scarfing down on that, but we got quite a few of them. Uh, a lot of these seeds, Apache the bought at market, so uh, we got a pretty good variety of, of, of vegetables. These big boys up here, big boys up here looking. Get a nice look, real close look at the antlers. That is one of Whitey's prizes right there. Whitey would be so proud of that boy right there. We might name him. That's lucky. No, that's a, that's a new one right there. That's that's a, that's his second horns. Look at that deer. Think about his second horns. This deer right here. I think that's got a white tag, and I believe that he's the same age as Forrest. You can see he's a champion also, six or seven by six or seven. The third deer right back there, same situation. Another real, real champion, big deer. Getting him some food down there to eat. Fat boy over there with his big belly, definitely a fat boy. And big Mr. TC back there in the background. You can just barely see the top of his horns. But what a great place to end it. He's here with the vegetable feeding. Patchy's cutting it up. They eat seeds and everything. Patchy, they may go out and poop in the woods and plant those seeds somewhere. Yeah. They may, may grow some wild ones out there somewhere. <laughs> that can happen. That happens. That happens. Probably pretty rare. But it can happen. Anyway, that is a nice looking. That's a nice looking bunch of bucks. Two, four, six, seven. Seven by something right there. And that's a TC. Seven by something. No, no, that's not TC. It's TC back there. Oh my goodness. That's deer is just unbelievable. Third set of horns and the second set of horns. That's the second set of horns right there. That's the third set of horns right there. About the same. Those are all Whitey's babies. Mr. Whitey. Okay, guys and girls, I guess we'll end this video. Look at a lot of big bucks up close. Awesome, awesome antlers. That's what I call them this week. Y'all remember, 